welcome to Kids Mind. This is your teacher, Chanaomi, and I'm here to give you a story. Are you waiting for my story? Wow. Welcome. Today's story is about a prince. Who is a prince? A prince is a child of a king. Now, one day, there was this king who had a son. That is the prince. The king loved this son very much. And the king had two wives. Now, one wife did not love this king prince and she was very jealous one day this wife went to a witch doctor and the witch doctor decided now this prince will never get married the king always wanted the prince to get married to a beautiful girl. Now, the witch doctor told this jealous stepmother that the day the prince will go to a village, whatever I am saying now will not have any powers. But if he continues to stay in the palace, then this one, uh, he will never get married. So the stepmother went back home and she was given something to put under the bed of the prince. So many years passed and the king was worried. Wow, what has happened? My son is not getting married. And the king always invited girls from other kingdoms, girls who are very beautiful, girls who are very rich. But when the prince looked at them, he was like, oh, I don't want this one. This one is not beautiful enough. And another one would come. And the prince would say the same. Ah, this one is not working well. I don't like this one. Then that one continued. One after the other. Until the king was now like, what? What is happening? But the stepmother knew what she had done. And the real mother always asked God, God, what have I not done? What is happening to my son? He is of age and he has not uh, got a good girl to marry. So one day, the mother decided, to go and pray. There was a big mountain where they believed that if they go and pray there, then God would answer their prayers. Now the mom went and she prayed. She prayed and prayed until she was satisfied and she believed that now her prayers were answered. Then, when she went home, she could not find the prince. And she asked, well, I prayed so that my, my son could get a girl and get married. Now, what has happened? The prince is lost. Nobody knew where the, the prince had gone. And they started looking everywhere for him. But, the prince was not lost. He had decided to ride his horse 
and he went without even knowing where he was going. So he rode his horse and went very far away. Then the prince realized that the people there were very poor. He spotted young girls, young boys, wearing uh, clothes that were not very smart. But he felt that he was in the right place. And while he was walking, he saw two girls walking to the liver. Here, the prince looked at the girls. One of them went and fetched water. And the other one said, ah, I feel tired. I want to rest a bit. One of them went back home. And the prince saw that the one who was left was very beautiful. And he fell in love with this young, beautiful girl. But now he was afraid. Where do I start? I don't know this girl's parents. What will happen to me? And I know my father will not agree to get this girl for me. So the prince decided to follow that girl secretly. And he followed her silently without making noise until the girl reached home. Then when the girl uh, looked behind, she noted that someone was following her. She was almost screaming when the prince told her, No, 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 don't shout. I'm not here to harm you. I'm here to know where you come from, and I want to know your parents. Then the girl asked him, what do you want with me? What do you want with my parents? Have we done anything wrong? Then the prince explained to this girl, I am a prince from a very far away kingdom. And I have come here, I was going out for fresh air. But I saw you two girls, the other, the other girl who went. And you now, but you, you, you are special and you look very beautiful. Would you like me to marry you? And the girl was, wow, me of all people? And the girl was afraid. Then the girl asked the prince, how will you marry me? You have not known me. You have not known my parents. How is that possible? And what, uh, what do I have that is so special? I can see you are very rich. What do you want from me? But the prince could not go back. He had found the girl to marry. So the prince followed the girl until they came to the parent. The parents were very worried because they feared that King, they knew the, the prince's uh, father. The king was not a very uh, good person to these poor people. But since now the prince wanted their girl, they, were, they, they wanted to wait for what would happen. And now the prince told them that he is going back to the kingdom, to the palace. And he would tell the father that they are, they are going to get this girl. So the prince went back to the palace feeling very good. At last, he had found someone to get married to. Remember, the charm that was given to the stepmother lost powers. Because the witch doctor had said, if the prince left the palace, 
the powers would not hold him. So when the prince went back to the father, he told the father, My father, my king, I have found a girl to marry. And the king was like, What? What do you mean? Where did you find this girl? And the prince explained. But when the king heard that this girl was from a very far away village and the girl was poor, the king was not very happy. He decided to persuade the son, please forget about that girl. I'm going to get you a very good lady from a neighboring kingdom from my friend, the king. But the prince was not ready for any other girl. And the prince said, Now, if I don't marry that girl whom I found, I will never get married. And the mother decided to talk to the king. The mother told the king, Now, it is better for our, our boy to get married to that girl instead of not getting married at all. We are growing old. We need grandchildren. Why are we going to get grandchildren if we keep on insisting that our son should marry a rich girl? And then the mother was able to convince the king. So the following morning, very early, they carried gold, silver, and very many clothes. They carried other presents to go and, and visit the girl's mother. And when they arrived, the whole village was there. Because they had seen the horses, all of them gathered. They wanted to know who is this very special person who has made the king come all the way. This must be a very, very important person. So when they arrived, they noted that, wow, it was just the poor girl. This poor girl was very hardworking. And the mother and the king, they were able to pay the dowry. So the dowry was paid for the girls and the parents were very happy. From there, they became very rich. Because the king had carried very many things. Now, other girls became jealous. But they had nothing else to do. This girl got married. And there was a big wedding. And they celebrated. And they were very happy. A big cake was baked. And it was given to everybody. But do you know what? The day that the girl got married, the stepmother of this prince died. Can you imagine? Do you know why she died? It is because she got a heart attack. She was very worried. She was jealous, and she did not know what would happen next. Remember, she had gone to the witch doctor to try and prevent the prince to get married. So after the wedding, the stepmother was buried, and she was forgotten. And the prince started a, a family. And both the king's family and the girl's family were united by this prince. 
Now, my story ends there. What do we learn from this story? This story teaches that love knows no bounds. And jealousy can never win. At first, people who are jealous may seem to be winning. They may think that they have it all, but when love comes, it conquers everything. Love defeats all the jealous. And in the end, love remains. So anytime, anytime you feel that you want to feel jealous, fight it. Because jealous is from the evil one. Anytime you feel that you want to hate your friend, fight that hatred. Overcome it with the love. Because love can conquer any hatred. Love can conquer any jealousy. Now, will you continue loving others? Or will you feel jealous? I'm sure nobody wants to be jealous. Don't ever hate anyone. Don't become jealous. Because in the end, it will destroy you. The way it destroyed this jealous stepmother. And she died. Nobody wants to die. You see, when you feel jealous, when you hate, that hatred eats you until you die. But love makes you grow. Love makes you keep smiling. Love makes you uh, continue having friends. So until next time, this is Kids Mind and this is Teacher Naomi and we are going to meet again. Thank you.